When I was about 20 years old, I read New York Trilogy by Paul Auster, the novel. And I remember the feeling of being almost like grabbed from the book. Um, and he had written a detective story um, that really referenced me as a, a reader and really, like I said, grabbed almost like my physical body. And I thought, I want to do that in film. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm doing yeah, good. I good. watched the movie last night and your performance is amazing. It was very chilling. I watched it very late at night. Were like, you scared? Did you yeah, have bad dreams? I was a little yeah, scared. <laughs> scared. But, um, what made you want to come on this project? Well, Camille Tremont, the writer-director, has been a friend of mine since I lived in New York in my 20s. And this is an idea she's been working on for a long time. And originally, I wasn't going to do it. I was just a sounding board. And then one thing led to another. And I think it's a very interesting conversation about identity, about voyeurism, um, and the psychological effects of letting people into your private space. And, and thriller is a great genre, anyway. So, anyway. It was, it was great to make. Yeah, and it was very real. Yeah. And then on the subject of boys and the to like kind of get away from the serious. Yeah. Uh, if someone was a fly on the wall in your apartment, what do you think that's a weird thing that they would see? My own house? Um, well, I mean, there's t little tiny toys that cover every surface because I, <laughs> I have little children. I talk to myself. I talk to myself all the time. I found myself saying the other day, I have a dog. And I, I was, I like, I, I couldn't find my dog because he had, I had left the door open for a second and he'd gone into my neighbor's apartment. And I couldn't find my dog, I couldn't find my dog. And I, I said to myself, out loud, is this a fucking joke? And then I was like, wow, what an odd thing to say in that moment. But, yeah. yeah.